Good morning, this is Chris Blair. I didn't open up with the traditional yo 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 yo. I'm gonna do that now. Yo 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 yo. I'm just having coffee. I'm just not having breakfast. I'm doing my intermittent, my usual intermittent fasting today. Although I occasionally do break it. There's some occasions where I decided, you know, have breakfast. So maybe I'm with a friend or whatever. Um, about once a week I, I do break the fast, to tell you the truth. That's okay. I mean, so six days a week I do it right. My eating window is from uh, 12 p.m. Japan time to 8 p.m. Right now it's um, 9, almost 9 a.m., not quite. Um, so, hey Buster, good to see you, buddy. James, good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Keith, good to see you. Thomas, good to see you. Andrew, good to see you, buddy. I'm just going to wait just a little bit for people to get on. One thing I've noticed about these uh, morning, James. One thing I've noticed, as you guys have done a lot of these live streams, a good amount of these live streams. And so I've noticed that there's a good three to four minute lag from the moment the, the I start the live stream to where we get a really good uh, crowd. Um, it's just I think it takes time for the notification to go out and people to get on. So that's why lately I've been sort of... <laughs> BSing a little bit at the beginning of these uh, BSing zone. I mean, shooting the shit, just you know, talking about random stuff, just to give a moment for the people to get on. Um, anyway, by the way, I'm really, really excited because I'm gonna be traveling to Reno um, here in about a week. It's a little over a week. See, I'm leaving on the 21st of Japan, and now it's the 13th. So yeah, eight days. You know, I want to talk about something here. Um, I want to target, this is targeting to experience sellers, okay? And, you know, I've been selling e -com. I've been in e -com games since 2012, but yet here I am going to be, I, I paid for a ticket to join this mastermind, right, in Reno, right, with, where I know a lot of high-level sellers are going to be attending, right? I already know some of the people are going to be there. I'm like, wow, man, I got to go there and I got to get with those guys. Um, I paid for my airfare, I paid for my hotel, okay? Why, why do I do that? I mean, 2012, I've been doing that. I've sold millions of dollars in sales, and you know, I have a course, and I have a successful business. Why would I get on an airplane and do this? And here's it's a lot of a lot of experienced sales are in the wrong mindset about this. I'm saying to myself, like, oh, well, I invest a thousand dollars, I invest two thousand dollars, I invest three thousand dollars in this mastermind. And, you know, I already know 95 percent of the information. Well, you know what? I guarantee you, I already know 95 to 99 percent of what's going to be talked about at that event in um, Reno. I, I know, I already know a lot of what's going on, but guys, that is the wrong approach, and here's why. If you look around yourself, look at, look at all the top big companies. They have coach, they, they have, their CEOs take coaching, right? They attend training events, and here's why. It takes, all I need out of this coming up event is one new idea. So if I know it's a good quality course or mastermind, I invest in it. Because I just need one new idea. One, one new idea. And because I've got all this base knowledge, it, it, I can implement it immediately. So, I mean, guys, there's a guy in, in my Econ Vanders Mastermind course group. He's, he's done $60 million in sales. And he joined. And he joined for the exact same reason that I said. I've heard of, tons of great things about it. And I know that some good high-level sellers in there. So all I need is one or two new things and I can make it turn into thousands and thousands of, maybe hundreds of thousands of properties. So he actually joined. I mean, so, so this, people are in the wrong mindset. They think that, oh, I know it all. And guess what? Know it all is a recipe for, yes, you're at the top of the mountain now, but you're gonna, go, you're gonna someday fall down the mountain and you're not gonna be able to get up. So you, whether, you're, whether you're a beginner or, or a, Experience, you got to keep pushing yourself and keep going because, guys, look what happens in the NFL, right? Just like that. Okay, actually, you know, it's really I, I love talking about the NFL. Guys, I, I, yeah, I know I'm an American football fan, and some of you guys are bored with stuff, but there's an interesting thing that's happening in the NFL. Okay, and this this point is true regardless of whether you are an NFL fan or not. You will find this interesting. In fact, I told this to a friend of mine, a Japanese friend of this uh, dinner party last night, and. Never even seen American football, but I told him this what, what was happening here, and he was like, "Wow, man, that's interesting." And he started looking up on his phone. He was blown away by this. Okay, so 
what's happened in the NFL is um, all these college p- programs, these athletic football programs, right, have gotten really, really good at training and, and developing players. And then they get to the NFL and they get really good at training and developing players. Okay. And so the difference between the worst team and the best team in the NFL is so slight. It's really about the slight edge. Okay. So, I mean, the Cleveland Browns, it doesn't matter whether you're a football fan or not, you, this story's interesting, were 0 and 16 last year. 0 and 16. Okay. They didn't win a single game. In fact, it's one of the, it's like the third time in history, second time in history, the team didn't win a single game. I think it's the second time in history. Okay. All right. I, wa- I actually saw some of the games, I'm telling you. They went to overtime, I think, in five games last year. So f- they lost 16 games, all the games. They were in the overtime in five games, and they lost a bunch of them, like half the game, less than seven points. Seven points in, one, in American football, as you know, is one score, okay? You can get a score from when you kick the ball in, or you can get a seven points if you run the ball in, okay? I'm just explaining this in layman terms. There's a little more to it than that, but anyway, you get the point. So they were literally in one score of tying it over in, 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 in like five other games. So they lost like 10 of their, their games, something like that. Some ridiculous number by less than, a, than one score. And yet they didn't win a single game. And here, here's the interesting thing, guys. So, so, so and by the way, I'm going to tie this back to e-com here in a second, right? So in the last 15 years in American football, there's eight divisions, okay? Of four teams in each division, okay? Every single year, 14 of the last 15 years, except for one year, one team in one division has gone from last place the previous season to first place the previous season. What does that show you? The slight edge. Okay. Now, so that means a slight difference. It makes all the difference. Well, it's the same thing now with e There's so much more cool information out there, right? And there's a lot of good training, right? And even some free stuff on YouTube and stuff like that. And, and so, so why go for a paid mastermind course? Is it, it's another question I hear people. Well, guys, because what you get in a paid mastermind course is better support, right? Because you're, you're part of a paid group. And, 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 and often the training is more detailed. I mean, and these, these small details that make the difference. This is a slight edge business, just like the NFL. It's a slight edge business. You just need to be slightly better in your competition. And if you're not striving for that slight edge, that's why you fail. That's why a lot of these people who just go for the free training, they fail. They think, oh, I know all the basics. And you do, to be honest with you. You could probably get a lot of the basics on YouTube, but you're not getting the, my, the, the details that you need to put it all together. You're not getting the ongoing support, okay? And this is the difference. The, the devil is in the details when it comes to e Just like the devil is in the details in the NFL. The difference between the best and the last is, is a razor thin line, okay? So I don't wanna get that point. Now, thinking of razor thin lines, okay? The amount of times I've seen people say to me, or in Facebook groups, I have a winning product I sold. In fact, I had one just the other day, and this was what actually inspired me to go ahead and do this webinar. We've sold, I think you said, 2,100 units of this product, and we're losing money. We started off profitable in the first couple hundred, but then we, as we started scaling, it got more and more. We started, the cost per conversion went up and up and up, up, and we started losing money. And this is not unusual. I, I see this all the time. I mean, this is, I guarantee if you go into faith, any of these big, massive Shopify groups, and you look through them, you're gonna find this phenomena all over and all over again, okay? And so, it's two, there's two reasons for this, okay? Um, number one, there's, there's three reasons, I think. There's two scaling strategies that are commonly used that most of the time do not work, okay? I'm not gonna say that they don't, 100% don't work because that would, be, that would be bullshit, but most of the time, they do not work, and they kill your profits, okay? And I'm gonna talk about these two. In fact, these are these are strategies I don't even really talk about in my Facebook group or my, my, my course group because I don't recommend them doing them. I, I know they don't work consistently, so I don't rec- recommend them. If I don't really talk about them very much because I don't recommend them. But because this is an open webinar, that anyone can attend, I'm gonna talk about these two. So you're gonna learn the two common Facebook sc- ad scaling strategies that I absolutely do not recommend and the reason why because 95 to 90 percent of the time they don't work efficiently right that just kill your profits you may get conversion out of, out of them but they're going to be conversions for losses so if you're getting conversion for losses you might as well not even get it okay i mean by the way i'm a big believer in having a good back end follow-up system emails and system flows and cross sales and all that stuff 
but you at least want to break even on the front end sale, ideally profitable. But so if even yes, you can monetize these people on the back end, but you don't want to lose money on the front end. Okay, and that's what's happening for a lot of people. Okay, so I'm talking about these two most common strategies, and then the other thing is, okay, you know. We have 14 different scaling methods that we use and teach in our Econ Vantage course. And, and I have to protect that information, that those strategies, and, and have them exclusive for the, the members only. But there are there is one strategy I've talked about in previous uh, um, webinars. There's one strategy I've talked about in other trainings I've done outside of this. So I, this one strategy is already revealed anyway, and, I, and I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and lay it out in more detail. In the past, I just sort of talked about it a little bit, but I didn't really go into the nitty gritty. Okay, so I'm going to teach one of the 14 strategies that we use in the Ecom Vantage Mastermind and Course Group. One. The other 13, if you want them, you have to join. There's only one way to get them, and I and I will never, ever, reveal those intricate details of those scaling strategies. It's only for the members. But anyway, regardless of that, I got good news for you, and that good news is this: this one strategy is powerful. It works. And it works every time. I've been doing this since 2013, 13, 14, 15, 16, now 17, still working. My coaching students, before I even had Econ Vantage Mastermind, have been doing it in 2013, 14, 15, 16, and then 17, I started, I started Econ Vantage in 2017, been teaching it in that course group, and it's working for them. My goal for you is to have you walk away from this webinar, whether you join Econ Vantage or not, with a clear plan of attack on how you can scale with profitability your winning product. And you will have that. That I promise you. You do not want to miss this webinar. It's coming up exactly, let's see, 55 minutes from now. Okay, in fact, I gotta go home so they finish my, have, maybe have one more cup of coffee. This is my legalized drug that I have every morning. Caffeine. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm addicted to the caffeine. My brain doesn't fully operate properly without caffeine. That's not a good place to be in life, but it's, it's the reality where I am. Maybe I've been actually been thinking about how to how I kind of wane off caffeine. Um, but anyway, um, that's a different subject. So you will have a clear plan of attack. Okay, that I promise you. So show up, you want to be on this webinar. You do not want to miss it. Okay. Um, by the way, I did this webinar on Sunday last week. I'm oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, Sunday week. And we had a problem with the replay. We just, we didn't have a replay. Um, now go to webinar, to be honest, I've been going to webinar for years, and so this is only the second time, and I think I've been using go to webinar for over three years now, and it's the second time this has happened. So this is not a common phenomenon, but it, it will happen. So I cannot guarantee you a replay. Now it's only happened twice in three years, but what if the replay, what if we don't have a replay? And also guys, the other thing is this, for people who are on the webinar and stay on the end, I'm going to give away one free coaching, 30-minute uh, coaching session, okay, on this webinar. And by the way, I just did one yesterday, okay, for someone who was on the previous webinar. And the ironic part about this whole coaching session is this person um, actually had said, uh, oh, my own, he actually said on the previous webinar, I was asking, he was just commenting, oh yeah, I've been in this business for a while and my only problem I have is Facebook ads. That was really an interesting statement because I was like, okay, cool. You know, I, I, I took it as face value. Then, then I, for the coaching session I did, I said, hey, do me a favor, send me your website. And it was without a doubt the worst website I've ever seen and I couldn't even freaking believe he was running traffic of it. And I, it I messaged him immediately after, this is two days ago, I said, stop all your ads. You are throwing money down the drain. Wait till we talk two days from now and I'll show you. And, and I, we had this call and he was like, oh my fucking Lord. He, this guy thought he had a great looking website. He had, I mean, his website sucked and it was converting at 0.7%. And I can tell you exactly why. I mean, it was horrible. So here's, what's the moral of the story, guys, is, is it, often takes an experienced seller to look at what you're doing because you don't see it you just don't see it why because you just you don't have that experienced eyes right you know and by the, even if you're experienced this guy wasn't experienced he's been doing e-com for three years and by the way not successfully 
he's making most of his money through his, he has a, he has a physical store, right? And there's, there's a lot of good numbers like that. I have uh, two other people in my group. By the way, this guy's not in my group. And I'm, he's probably going to get in now after that coaching call, but he's short, little short on the cash. He even said straight out, he goes, the only reason why I haven't joined is I just don't have the money. I am interested in joining. He, goes, he actually messaged me an hour after this call. He goes, right now I'm figuring out how I can get the 2K together to join your course because I was blown away by the coaching call. Anyway, so I'm um, like, cool. Well, let's see if you can get, you can figure it out. But anyway, he's making all his money from his brick and mortar, but he's been losing money online for three years. And it's like, but he thought he knew it. He thought he knew it. And, and, and that's the thing, guys, is it often takes an experienced seller to go in and, and, and you, can't, you can't see it. And you guys, I was in that boat. I was seriously in that boat. Um, 2009, I got online. In 2010, I lost money online um, for two, two years, okay? And I'm gonna tell a story I haven't really talked about much publicly. I mentioned that I, I didn't do well, okay? But anyway, I was, at the end of 2010, I was really at my rope's end. I dug through my savings and I was really almost broke. I had a, you know, a couple thousand dollars in the bank and that would have basically, living in Tokyo was expensive. That would have not even got me through a month. I mean, to really live decently in Tokyo, nearly three or four thousand dollars, right? I mean, you could really go cheap, but I mean, it's, I mean, you're living in on, on, on like a like a bump at two thousand dollars a month in Tokyo where Tokyo is an expensive city right now I know a place a lot of places rural places two thousand dollars is great I mean to me if I'm living if I have two thousand dollars in a month I'm, I'm I'm a bum living in Tokyo that's just the reality of the economics in Japan Japan is not a cheap company cheap place to live especially if you live in a city like I do so anyway um, so I was at my rope sand I was really almost this close to going back to head hunting which I was successful in and you know, and I, 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 at that point, I, I, you know, I need to swallow my pride here. I, I, I fully believe that I could make it online by myself. I was so freaking convinced because I had been successful as a corporate seller, I've been successful as a headhunter. I thought, you know what, I can figure this out, and I would try. And so, you know, I, I, um, I didn't have any money to pay for coaching and training. I didn't. I was broke. I mean, I, I didn't have enough fucking money to get it through a month, right? But I had come this far and I'd worked so hard. I'm like, you know what? I cannot give up on this. So I called up my father and I tried to get a loan from him. And he basically said no. He goes, look, you should go get a job again. And, and I said, look, Daddy, I, I, mean, I really want to give this a little more shot. I feel so fr two years and I, I, know I don't fail at things. I don't fail. I, I need to find a way. He said, well, you know what? Um, there is that life insurance policy. Because I, I have a life insurance policy out there. Uh, uh, that my dad took out for when he, he dies and it's in my name. Then he goes, look, you can get a loan from them. They're going to charge you interest, of course, off, off your benefit at the end. I don't want to loan you the money. Um, if you want to go for the loan there, you can. And, you know, obviously it's your responsibility to pay it back and stuff. And I, I'm totally against this idea. But if you want to do that, that's your decision because that, that policy is in your name. Um, and if, you, if, the, if, the, if the loan you take out is eventually the interest uh, goes over the, the cash value of the insurance policy you can catch you know the, the policy will default and you'll have to owe money tax to the IRS and all that stuff so anyway so against his his better uh, judgment I borrowed twenty thousand dollars from that uh, insurance policy why because I wanted to invest about, invest about six thousand dollars in private coaching and training um, that was one thing but I also knew that it would take some time to ramp up and I figured if I Okay, I didn't want to. I, I mean, I didn't really want to move apartments. At the time I was in an apartment, there was one thousand dollars a month, and well, actually, you know, it's nine, like nine fifty a month. I didn't want to move apartments because actually, moving costs money, right? You need, you need deposits, you need all that, all that crap, right? So I didn't want to move apartments, and okay, you know what? I'm like, okay, I just wanted to be able to, you know, eat regularly and, and, and occasionally go out. I just didn't want to completely destroy my lifestyle. So I figured I need to do that. I needed about three thousand dollars a month because I had eating, and occasionally go out, and things like that, right? So I figured, okay, I need about, because, you know, when you're getting, I, I was basically said, do I, what I've done wrong, what I did the first two years just didn't work, I got to start over, okay? So I said, you know, okay, fine, I got I to gotta figure, I, I, I figure I need about four or five months worth of, of living, right? So I had 2000 in the bank, and then I had um, 6000 for coaching. So I took so 22000 total, right? And I remember exactly that. I took, I took 6000 paid for the coaching and training program. I, I, I needed some money for marketing, right? So I, I put aside about uh, uh, 5000 or four, five, six, seven thousand for, for marketing, right? And I also put the rest for living expenses. I could go maybe three to four months without living. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put everything I got into this. 
I'm just going to become a, a, a blank canvas. I'm going to do what the coach and the training program recommends without questioning it, and I'm just going to follow the system. And then two months after I signed up for the coaching and training program that I joined, I finally had profit. Now, I had two years of losses that I obviously was not profitable overall as a, as, a, as a business, but I had my first profitable month and I was ecstatic. I mean, it's one of the rare times I actually cried. I was ecstatic. And you know, the, the long story short, I paid back that loan um, that I took from the, the insurance company. I have been basically, okay, it's been, of course, sometimes you have bad month in any business stuff, and any coaching guru says you've never had their store and their, their business never has a bad month, it's fucking lying to you, okay? My business still goes like this, and that's part of this business, right? It's a, especially in retail, online retail, right? You, you know, the fourth quarter is the number one quarter by far. I mean, it's not even, not even close. The other ones that I do usually do about 40 to 50% of my revenue in the fourth quarter. So, then, so, so I've had ups and down months, but the point is, guys, I have been profitable since 2011, so 2011, 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17. So wait, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And this year's profitable too. So we are talking now about seven and a half years of profit after two years of losses. And the difference was I made a decision. I did whatever it took to get some money to survive because I was I'd gone through two years of losses and then ripped through all my savings. I, as, as when I did the head hunting and I did sales, I had a good amount of money in the bank account. But I mean, I ripped through all that. I mean, two years of losses. You ripped through, you ripped through some serious cash, especially if you're living in, in Tokyo, which I was. And you're paying. I was paying for my living, and I was financing my own business. So, yeah, I just did whatever it took, and so that was the difference, guys. So sometimes you gotta ask yourself this critical question. How badly do you want it? How badly do you want success? Okay, so anyway, today, you know, I'm not gonna talk about, I'm not gonna do a, a sales pitch for Econ Manager Mastermind course because that's about the point of this webinar, this live stream today. My point in this webinar, uh, this live stream is to get you on this webinar that's gonna be coming up in now 45 minutes. I'm gonna talk about the two most common scaling errors that don't work most of the time and people are doing it all the time. I, and I understand that on a rare occasion they work, but they're not consistent, so therefore I don't recommend them, right? What I, rec what I like to recommend is stuff that consistently works. And, so, and then I'm gonna teach you one of the 14 scaling strategies that we do use that works over and over and over again, over and over and over and over again, okay? And it's worked for me, it's worked for my coaching students. So you'll walk away, and that's what I promise you, you'll walk away with clarity of one scan strategy that you can duplicate, repeat, repeat, and do it over and over again, okay? So we'll see you on the webinar. We'll see you on the webinar. Cool, um, in 45 minutes, let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, I'm about 15.4% body fat. I'm starting to get a little bit of a six pack here, at least on the top. The, 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 I got one fat, Vestige holding on right around the belly button. It's driving me insane. But anyway, I keep pushing on that. That's the hardest fat to get rid of. Um, cool. So we'll see you on the webinar, guys. And um, yeah. Cheers.